Ariana Grande, who is now single. It's one last time. 97.9, Kiss FM. She's single and ready to mingle. 7.42 with Big Papa and Banna in the morning. Scattered showers today. High of 57. Right now we are at 47 degrees. Uh, coming up, uh, it's prom time. It's weird. Like somebody already had their prom this past weekend. Is that what? right? Yeah. Already? I heard, yeah, I heard a school had their prom already. And uh, prom season, it's here. So if you want, um, if you want uh, to get some deals, you want to know what's going on. You got a prom directory going on. Uh, big thank you to, uh, of course, Tuxedo Junction, who's the reason why we're having it, and uh, Nikki Marie Salon and Spa, Stella and Dot, Macero and Sons Florist, uh, Linda's and Wendy's Beauty Connection, uh, all helping us out on that. And uh, we're actually going to do a contest. Um, uh, where we're going to uh, ask for your prom pictures, and we're going to be giving away different prizes and whatnot with uh, with your prom pictures. So that'll be coming up in uh, in just a bit. But right now, it is a confession Tuesday. Local life coach Rebecca Silence is in studio. Good morning again. Good morning. InspiredResultsCoach.com dot com is uh, is the website, and. Um, of course, they're uh, corporate clients and uh, individual clients, and you actually have life coaches because there's only so much Rebecca Silence time. Yeah. So um, they have been, uh, they, they are absolutely awesome, and your chance to help get yourself out of your own way. Uh, again, all the details, inspiredresultscoach.com. And uh, chance to get help here on the air, you just go to cnykiss.com. You ready for the second email here? I am. All right, here what we do go. We got? And and remember when and I think this is the this is um, something that we hear, I hear a lot. Uh, number one, uh, you can't even touch my problems. Blah blah blah. Oh right. Because my email, you know, because my email is going to be so so long and da 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 da. Where would I even start? Yeah. Uh, well, guess what? Start mm-hmm. and just go to town. That's- and when you do that, it's not even about helping yourself. The ripple effect is bigger than you could even comprehend. Absolutely. And the, the second thing I always hear is, well, people are going to know it's me. No. Right. No. No, no. they're really not. No, because they're not. Because a lot of people are probably having the same problems as you are. Yeah, yeah. so email us. Absolutely. We want your emails. And um, and I've also been doing this long enough where if there's something that's super duper duper specific, I can make it so it's not mm-hmm. super duper duper specific. We can protect specific. the innocent. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's, that's how we roll. Yes. Uh, would have been sued by now for crying right. out loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here we go. Dear Rebecca. I've been seeing a guy for the past year, but we're not sure where the relationship is going. And I'm fine with the ambiguity, but my sister is not. She doesn't like how he's okay with being so casual. I understand where she's coming from, but personally, as long as I'm okay with the arrangement, she shouldn't worry about it. But she's getting married in October, and I want to invite the guy to her wedding. I know I'd have a lot of fun with him there, and my sister might even grow to like him. But still, as things are right now, she hates him. So I don't really know what to do. Should I bring him and have a good time at the wedding, even though my sister doesn't like him? Or should I avoid drama altogether and just go to the wedding alone? Thank you so much for this email. So when you're trying to make sure other people approve of you, it is a recipe for drama because it's never going to happen. You're never going to jump through the right hoops or meet the bar exactly right to please people 100%. And then consider the possibility that you're always training people how to treat you. So if you're training people that you're going to cave so that they're going to be happy, they'll keep making requests for you to cave so they can be happy. And it's not their fault. They've learned that it works with you. So be careful about what you teach people works with you. And I encourage everyone out there never to cave. Instead, have an open and honest conversation. So there's a couple of layers here. The first one is being swayed by your sister's opinion. If you're ever swayed by someone else's opinion, that just tells me you're not solid about your own choice. And that's okay. When I'm rock solid about my choice, there's nothing anyone could say or do to make me change my mind or question myself. Correct. And a lot of people make choices that they're shaky about and then think that the other person swayed them in one direction or another. That's not what's happening. You just weren't solid in the first place. So get really clear with yourself and honest with yourself about whether or not this ambiguity really does work for 
for you. Because my hunch is, if it did, you wouldn't have written this email. If ambiguity really worked for you, and this idea that you don't know where the relationship was headed worked for you, maybe we wouldn't have seen this email. And I'm not making you wrong for that. It's okay. And it's okay to want more and let the relationship go to the next level or end. And people get really scared about that. I don't want to actually put my foot down here because what if they go away? Oh my God, I can't be alone. I don't want to be alone. Oh, (laughs) being alone is awful. I'm never going to find anyone. Oh, what if the best I'm ever going to find? What if I'm pushing them out the door? No. Here's the thing. They're already gone. If they're going away because of you being honest about what you need, they're already gone. Right. So don't push it. Now, the next layer. Was that too much? Was that was that a little too much? Well, we've all been there, right. maybe a little too well, much. Well, that's well, that's the thing. Those are the things that go through people's minds, right? When right. you know, before you know, that's why they won't put you know put their foot down. People think it's more comfortable to be in a bad relationship than it is to be alone. And I would suggest that what's really uncomfortable is the bad relationship. And trust yourself enough to know you're worth more than that, and that you don't need to convince people to be with you. Right. Anyone who's out there trying to convince people to stay, be willing to let them go. Instead of being willing to lose yourself. Exactly. So many people are willing to lose themselves over the relationship. And to me, that is just so sad and unnecessary. And then the next layer of this email that I want to get into is how do we deal with the family at the wedding? So you get to decide what's best for you and then consider that every choice you make does have a ripple effect but you're just as important as anyone else on the planet and so is your happiness and if you really want this guy in your life don't apologize for it and be willing to lovingly have a conversation with your sister ahead of time what I would not encourage is that you just show up kind of doing a a little bit of you know uh sticking your nose up in the air and here I am with my boyfriend, you know, what are you going to do about it? Kind of rebellious, kind of... Right, we we don't want that. I was going to use bad language, but caught myself. Appreciate that. We we don't want that to happen. So what you could do... Remember the first time I hit... We have the, the, you know, the the new delay system here in the new studios. Remember the first time I almost had to use it on Rebecca? Right. Of all people. On me? Yeah. Almost. (laughs) Almost. People have come to Confession Tuesday Live. It's different. But what I would encourage you to do is be proactive and have a conversation before the wedding so that there isn't any walking on eggshells or worried how are people going to be treating each other at the wedding. Have a conversation before and let her know that it's her day and you love her and respect her and you want her to have the greatest day and you want to be there with someone who's really important to you cheering her on as well. Can I make can I make a, a suggestion? Let's see what Before, you got. Because yeah. because you're you're going you know 12 steps that I think that option 1 before she even talks to the sister, I think that she should blunt honest ask the guy if he want if he's going. Well, sure. Because her and that, her boyfriend need to be a united well, front. Well, they're ahead not. Of time. Well, they're not boyfriend girlfriend. That's that's the whole issue. Whatever so, they are. But but this could absolutely be a way for her to put her foot down and see exactly where he is. Mm-hmm. Because if he's quasi serious about her, or if there's feelings there, mm-hmm. or whatever, he'll be like, okay, cool, I'm in. He'll put it in his phone. And there you go. But if he's wishy-washy, well, I don't know. Then you know he's really on the fence, and it shows where he where he is too. Though, am I wrong? Well, what I want this listener to focus on is what's true for her first and foremost, instead of making all her her decisions based on the other people, right. the boyfriend, the sister. That's what makes me nervous about this email. If she's just making decisions because of what they want, then she's losing herself. So if of course, she should know what the deal is with this partner, friend, whatever you want to call him. But then you've got to decide what's best for you, regardless of what's going on with other people, instead of waiting to make your decisions because of their opinion. I'm just saying use that as a way to gauge sure. as a way to gauge how into it he mm-hmm. is. Absolutely. I mean, you know, that's that's all I'm saying. Yeah, and it sounds like they have some understanding that works for both of them. And so right, he might not be interested in being part of the family deal and it may be a non issue. Before she talks to the sister, this is a great point you're making. And yeah, they can have a conversation first. 
first. But I'm saying if it gets to the point where, yes, she wants him there, he's agreeing to go, it's better to have a conversation with the sister before the wedding than just quietly show up, cross your fingers, and hope things go okay. Absolutely. So don't be willing to lose yourself is the homework. Be willing to fight for what you actually want and deserve and let people and jobs, whatever it is, fall to the wayside if they weren't actually right for you long term. Local life coach, Rebecca Silence, inspiredresultscoach.com. Absolutely awesome, as always. Thanks for the emails. I miss Keep you. them coming. I love being I miss back. you. It is Confession Tuesday, inspiredresultscoach.com, and you can submit your story at cnykiss.com.